Hey there, this is Akshay Madan and welcome back to day 26 of 30 days 30 concepts of Flutter series. And in this part, we are going to see the second part of CRUD operations. So in the last part, we have seen that how you can create uh, something, uh, create a document for your database, you can update it and you can delete it. And in this part, we are going to see how you can retrieve this information in your application uh, using listview.builder and stream builders, right? So first of all, what I'm going to do is inside this lib folder, I'm going to create one more folder called pages. And we are going to create one page inside this pages folder. And in that page only, I'm going to retrieve all these documents and their respective information. So let's create a page called uh, pets.dart. And in this pets.dart, I'm going to retrieve all those documents. So let's do it. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to import the material library. So let's import material.dart. Then I'm going to create a stateful widget. Right. And inside this return, I'm going to return a simple scaffold with an app bar. And inside this app bar, I'm going to just Perfect. So let's go to our day 25 page on which these four buttons are there. So let's go to yeah. So when I'm going to click on this retrieve button, I want to navigate to that pets dot dart page. So where it is? Yes. So here is my elevated button. And if you don't know about this, what we are doing is you can just refer to the previous part of this playlist. So navigator dot push. So let's put a semicolon and now let me just save it. And when I click on this retrieve button, okay, I need to refresh it. Perfect. Now when I click on this retrieve button, you can see I'm navigating to this list or uh, to this page. Now on this page, what I want to do is I want to listen to this database, right? I want to listen to it. So whenever a new document will be added, I want to show that document in my list also. Okay. I'm listening to it. Right. So when you listen to something, you have to use stream builders, right? So it's a stream of data incoming, right? So let's define a body. So inside this body, container with a margin in sets dot all 10. And now I can return a child with stream so inside this stream builder uh, first of all we need to define the stream so my stream will be so where i want to listen i want to listen in inside this collection right so what i will do is stream will be firespace firestore dot instance dot collection and collection is called pets so what I want to do is I want to listen to this collection and inside this collection, these things, these documents will be called as snapshots, right? So I want to listen to those snapshots. So dot snapshots. Perfect. Now you can define your builder and a snapshot or you can, and we can also call this snapshot as pet snapshot. Perfect. Then, so first of all, we are going to check if my pet snapshot is in loading state, that means because you, you know that uh, it will go to the database, it will try to retrieve it. So these things may take some time. So I want to check if my pet snapshot dot connection state is equal to is equal to connection state dot waiting. then put the semicolon. So now this thing is handled that if uh, my connection state is waiting, I'll return the circular progress indicator. But let's say I have retrieved the information. You know, we have already covered the concept of list view dot builder in our previous parts of this playlist. 
so you can check that out so this list view dot builder will build something and that build will be based upon this document information so what i want to do item builder will be comma index right and i want to return a list style you can return a container you can return an inkwell you can return any kind of widget but for now i just want to return style so this list style will be having title and subtitle now i want to keep the title of this list style as the uh, name and subtitle as the animal so what i want to do is i want to retrieve the information of each snapshot you know that this is a snapshot so what i want to do is for each element of the list view dot builder i want to retrieve the information about this snapshot that's why i need to specify that my stream builder is of type query snapshot so query snapshot and inside this list final pet docs pet docs it is not docs it is docs that means pet documents information is equal to pet snapshot that means i'm going inside this snapshot dot pet snapshot dot data dot docs that means documents so what is happening is i'm going inside the snapshots data of each document right now inside the list title what i can do is i can return a title and title will take a text and inside this text what i want to do is i will be returning the pet docs at index at name right so you can see over here what i'm doing is pet docs will be uh, referring to all these documents now i'm going inside these documents and referring the data i'm going inside these documents and referring the data so this data can be accessed as a json format so using that uh, using the key that means name animal and age are the keys now pet docs at index that means index is referring to the index of these documents right so at index at name that means at index at name perfect so when i'm going to save it i will be seeing the information over here in the form of title now let's return a subtitle also then it will take uh, the pet docs at index at animal perfect let me just save it and i can see okay i also need to give the item count to this list view dot builder so i will return item count will be pet docs pet docs dot length simple right so how many documents are there it will check and it will return to this item count let me just save it and you can see tom and tiger are over here Tom is the name. Tiger is the animal. So now what I want to do is I will be uh, like wrapping this list style with the card so that it should look good. And when I just save it, you can see now it is having a little bit of elevation. You can also increase the elevation. Elevation. Let's keep it ten. And its elevation is now increased. You can see over here. Now what I will do is. I'll go inside my D twenty five page, and I'll I'm going to uh, add a little bit more information, right? So for the create inside this pets collection, the name I want to keep it. This is not uh, yes. So this is the name. Let's see our function. So functions uh, database functions. So this create takes the collection name, then document name, the name animal and age. Okay. So let's go to D twenty five. so pets then collection name i want to keep it as let's say kitty only and jerry cat and five so let's uh, just save it and let me just add it so when i go to retrieve you can see jerry and tom are there you can see over here also database is updated let's add a little bit more information so pets collection then document name let's keep it uh, bully and the pet name will be let's say bully and it is animal is bull and its age is 10 years so let me just save it let me click on create retrieve you can see these three tiles perfect so using this stream builders you can make a chat application you can make uh, an e-commerce application to retrieve the products and i think using this stream builders data uh, that widget you can create a lots of apps now right
so i hope you like this video and in this now in these two parts of uh, firebase firestore we have covered how to create information how to update and let's click on delete also so in this delete you can see that it is going to uh, go inside pets collection and it is going to delete the kitty document let me just click on delete let's click on retrieve and you can see that kitty one is gone right from here also in the database kitty document is gone so i hope you like this video and in this uh, video we learned how to retrieve information how to continuously listen to the data of my collection so i hope you like this video till the next content keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot